What's up, Clemson Nation, um, Gamecock Nation? Congratulations to all the Gamecock TTCers, first and foremost. Um, you know, wanted to get a response out to the Real USC, but I never had a chance in that hate week video he made. But congrats to all of y'all. Um, y'all did it again. I'm going to make this short and sweet, get down to the point. The seniors will go out 0 and 4 against South Carolina. That is the second time in this uh, the series rivalry that that's happened. I mean, it's a disgrace. Uh, Dabo should be ashamed, and you know, but they didn't go out there. They didn't play to win, and they didn't earn it. And the Gamecocks did what they've been doing the last few years. Um, to break it down, really, they did what they wanted to do in this game. Um, you know. The offense they ran with the short passes and the run, they didn't have to pass it deep. They didn't have to do anything. They didn't want to pass it deep. They wanted to run the clock and control the clock and keep Clemson from taking as many snaps as they could, and that's exactly what they did, and Clemson didn't take many snaps. Uh, I think that that's, has to be the least snaps we've taken under Morse in the game. Um, South Carolina had the ball the whole second half. Our defense... Could not stop third. They couldn't get off the field in third down, and that's that's what killed them. That, I mean, that's that's gonna kill you. We get them to third. I told y'all that had been the problem all year, um, that we can get teams to third down every time, but we cannot stop third down conversions. And South Carolina took full advantage of that, and converted. Just I can't even count how many they converted. Just about every third down conversion. Offense showed signs that it, it could do what it did. You know, we had a deep pass to Nuke, but Taj Boyd, like last year, not composed. The defensive line for South Carolina did exactly what it did last year. Um, and by the second half, Taj wasn't even trying to find somebody open. He was paranoid about the freaking defensive line, and uh, he waited for it. In other games, when he would get the pass out there quick, get a quick pass out and um, find somebody quick, and they had people covered on some plays, but there was many plays where we had people open. And he just panicked and waited for the defense to get there. And uh, <clears throat> that's not going to cut it. You know, Boyd fell under pressure again. But, you know, congratulations to the Gamecocks. That's as much as I'm going to get into that. Well, probably looks like we're headed to the Chick-fil-A Bowl to play 
Texas A&M, which is a large task, and I'm just going to say this. If we do not beat Texas A&M or whoever we play in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, then yes, this season is a complete failure. Um, if you go a season without beating a ranked team, it's a complete failure in my opinion. And that's not going to cut it, Dabo. You are, you're, your legacy is not a champion right now. If you were to resign right now or go coach somewhere else, your legacy would be having the worst winning, the worst record against South Carolina of any coach in Clemson history. And that's what you'd go out as. So, you know, you need to figure out a way to beat those guys. And we'll see what happens in the bowl game, guys. Uh, hopefully Clemson won't be in the ACC much longer. Clemson and Florida State, not that that had an effect on this game, but you can see that uh, we're not playing enough decent teams. The ACC's falling off hard, and we'll see what happens. But you know what? Go Tigers. It's still always better to be a Tiger than a Gamecock. Always better. Um, can't imagine being a Gamecock. Just can't. It, it suck. But uh, go Tigers. We'll see who we got. I'll have some Clemson basketball videos coming up. Soon, we got a tough slate this week, uh, Purdue, South Carolina, and Arizona, and uh, we're looking decent right now, but I'll get those videos out later. Go Tigers!